Hey, what's up, guys? Um, I'm doing a review on the newest episode of Wahlburgers with Mark Wahlberg, Paul Wahlberg, and Donnie Wahlberg. <clears throat> um, on this new episode, basically, um, you know, Paul's doing the same thing. He's usually doing stressing out nonstop about, um, you know, where their new shop's going to be opened up and whatnot. Um, we have Mark Wahlberg wanting to open a new restaurant in Toronto during the Canadian Film Festival. I'm um, trying to have a lot of publicity and stuff surrounding the new opening of the new shop. Um, the only problem with that is that Mark has enough money to do anything he wants to, you know, so he's just opening it up wherever he can. And the new location is actually in an old abandoned, not an abandoned, but an old hair salon that was opened up. And um, so Paul's not really liking the location. He goes there with Donnie and checks it out. Um, you know, they really don't like the location. Well, Paul don't like the location of the new restaurant, but um, he ends up, you know, loosening up to it near the end of the episode and stuff like that. Um, either way... The main concern for um, Paul not only is the different walls and the different and the stairs and whatnot that the new hair salon location for the restaurant has, but also that there's a Wayne Gretzky, which is very famous in Can um, Canada, Wayne Gretzky um, burger joint over across the road. So there's going to be nothing but competition. But um, either way, um, they uh, in this episode, um, there, Paul holds two Wahlburger events: one for um, one for Donnie and one for Mark. Um, one of the new kids on the block thing for Donnie. And um, during that time, you know, Donnie signs a lot of autographs and stuff, and it's a pretty successful um, thing in uh, Toronto. And then they hold another one for Mark, which is way, way bigger. But uh, either way, um, Mark ends up being late from his flight and makes um, Paul wait for him a long time and stuff. Either way, Mark then goes with Paul to check out the actual location of the um, new, of the new, um, of the new, sec the second edition of the Wahlburger um franchise if you will and um mark himself doesn't really like the location and then paul finds himself kind of going in a different direction trying to talk mark into um into the location so he kind of gets confused there and he ends up going from hating it to liking it and thinking about how they can fix it up to be the second location for Wahlburgers. um either way he ends up persuading mark that it's a good idea mark ends up having his event goes really good and the official second place for Wahlburgers is in toronto canada so um Pretty much overall, the episode is pretty good. Um, basically, it's the same as usual. Um, you know, it's like I said, Paul's stressing out. Um, a lot of the work's on him, and the other guys are just investors and whatnot into the business. So, um, either way, Paul's wanting to go one burger at a time and make the franchise, you know, a big situation, but he's wanting to do it small. And he was actually wanting to have the next opening up in Boston, where they're from, but instead, Mark ends up getting his way and they're going to Toronto. So um, either way, Mark's wanting to go international, wanting to go all these other big places to have these different um, Wahlburger places at, while Paul's wanting to go slower. Either way, I mean, they're two of the big names, new kids on the block, and then Mark Wahlberg is an actor, plus their little brother being, I mean, their big brother being the guy running the places. is going to end up being a pretty big deal, you know, in the years to come. But um, either way, pretty good show. Um, Y'all should check it out. I'll be doing more videos for Wahlburgers, American Pickers, and things like that, so check me out on this channel. Um, and watch, go back and watch my girlfriend and his friend. They're doing videos for um, the real world explosion and stuff like that. So, either way, that's pretty much it. Like I said, it's the first time I've done a Wahlburgers video. I'm going to start trying to do them from now on. Um, if this one does well, I'll keep doing them. If not, I might drop it. Um, depending on the reception and if people enjoy it or not. You know, I'm just pretty much telling people who didn't get to see the show, you know, what they were, what they missed on the show. Just a really quick, you know, update on what happened and stuff like that. So, either way. Um, new episodes aren't going to be until February 19th, if I'm not mistaken. I don't know why they're taking such a long break, but um, they are. So either way, one quick rundown. Mark wants to open a new restaurant in Toronto during the Canadian Film Festival. Um, Paul goes and checks out the place, and it's the Harris, old hair salon. He doesn't like the location because it's across the road from a Wayne Gretzky burger shop. Um, he, he holds two events, one for Donnie, one for Mark. Both are very successful. Mark ends up being late on the plane after a recording Transformer movie. Um, Mark <clears throat> also ends up going and um, checking out the hair salon space himself. He doesn't like it that much either, but Paul talks him into it. And they have the official um, idea. You know, they end up saying that the next Wahlburgers is going to end up being in um, Toronto. So that's pretty much it. Peace out.